Today we're going to make some steak boards. A friend of mine who owns a couple of restaurants asked if I had any creative ideas for serving some basic bar food like steak frits. So I designed these dishes out of three quarter inch thick maple. I used a free app called Easel, which is really great for CNC projects. I'll put a link to it in the description box below. It's really easy to use. You just make basic shapes and then you tell the computer how deep you want to cut those shapes. I then loaded up a piece of 3 quarter inch thick maple into my Carvey, which is a 3D carving machine from Inventables. It only took Carvey about 30 minutes to carve out each one of these plates using an eighth inch diameter router bit. If you don't have access to a CNC machine, don't worry, I'll show you a way to make these plates using a palm router. One of the things I like about the easel software is that it's really easy to put in tabs which keep your workpiece from moving. I use my Japanese pole saw to cut these tabs before giving the pieces a nice sanding with 220 grit paper. I finished the wood with a food grade finish called BioShield. I was happy with how the design came out so I shared the project on Easel. So if you have any CNC machine from Inventables, you can just go onto the Easel website and actually make these same ones using the same files that I used. Now I also wanted to see if I could make something similar using a palm router. I set out some 3 quarter inch wide strips of metal around my workpiece and then hot glued some scrap pieces of wood to create a fence around it. This fence acted as a guide for guiding my router and I was able to create a nice consistent track around the perimeter. I added another scrap of wood to create another fence that'll define the inside edge of the juice reservoir. This was just a simple demo, but by setting up more complicated fences, you could make more complicated shapes and do just about everything that you could do with a CNC machine by hand. But now to test out the boards with some steaks. My favorite way to cook steaks right now is to use a sous vide machine. You just season the steaks and put them into Ziploc bags and then get all the air out under a pot of water. You then bring the water precisely to the exact temperature that you want the inside of the steaks to end up at. I like medium rare, so that's right about 122 degrees. After about an hour, you have a perfectly cooked steak that has no sear on it. So I then just heat up some butter in a cast iron pan and sear away. Now if I'm just cooking for myself or I'm in a hurry, I normally just pan fry the steaks, but if I'm cooking a lot of steaks, I really like this technique because you can have all the meat ready beforehand and just sear them and serve them whenever your guests are ready. Now it's important to let steaks sit for a bit before you cut right into them, and this is always the hardest part for me. I placed some crushed pepper sauce into the reservoir and then began to cut the meat. It worked really great. Whenever I cut the meat, the juice from the meat drained into the groove at the perimeter, then into the reservoir where it mixed with the pepper sauce. This created a nice tasty dip. I really like how these came out and they were pretty inexpensive to make material wise. I ran them through the dishwasher afterwards and they held up nice, but I've used maple cutting boards before and after about mm, 50 times through the dishwasher, they start to crack up. So I see these as sort of semi-disposable. You'll get probably 50 to 100 uses out of them, but then they can be completely either biodegraded or burned for fuel. If you wanna see what we're working on next, be sure to follow us on Instagram. Check out some of our other videos and don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. Thanks, bye.